artist, illustrator and lecturer and today we're going to be drawing from nature using nature. I've travelled the world drawing from nature taking it as inspiration but you don't need to travel anywhere. You can use nature that's just outside of your front door, in your local park or if you're lucky enough to have a back garden or countryside around you, you can do that. Today all you need are some twigs. All you need is some ink. Any type of ink will do. We've got black here, but you can use lots of different types. You'll also need some paper. Any size paper will do. You can go as big and as small as you want. You can work in a sketch pad, but it's probably better that the paper's a little bit heavy. That will work easier. Today's inspiration is going to come from trees. Beautiful, wonderful trees. They are diverse in shape, colour and change with the seasons. Inspiration comes from artists such as Ralph Steadman, who uses ink splatters, expressions of line and lots of movement in his artwork and works very quickly to create engaging illustrations and artwork. You can also look at the work of Veronica Lawler, who makes artwork as she's sat in front of her subjects. As things are happening, she works quickly with ink, heavy line, soft line, and lots of different mark making techniques to create engaging pieces of artwork. Don't forget being precise doesn't necessarily work with this, so get messy and experiment. You will need to find some twigs. If you can, get different shapes and sizes, and this will give you different marks you can make when you're drawing your trees. When you're collecting your twigs, watch out for birds and other animals to not disturb them, and please don't pull any twigs directly off trees. There are always lots of twigs lying on the ground around trees which you can use. You might want to put some paper down underneath the paper you're working on. So newspaper, scraps of paper, just something to protect the area that you're working in. Just because ink tends to have a little bit of a mind of its own. Don't worry if it gets really messy, this is all part of the fun. So we are going to draw the trees using the twigs. So you need to dip the twigs in the ink. You can pour it into a bowl if you prefer or dip it straight into the bottle. Test out different twigs. See what different marks you can make with the different sizes and shapes. Different pressure, speed and movement will leave different marks and help you draw different types of trees as trees come in lots of different shapes and sizes. You can also splatter, splurge and pour ink onto your page if you want to. Get experimental and move it about and see what happens. Natural forms are not tidy and neither should your drawings be. There isn't a right or wrong way of doing this, so don't worry if it all goes a bit crazy. Look at different trees for reference. This can be outside in your local park or just on a computer or a phone screen. Look at the different scales, the different textures that trees come in. Now it's time to draw some trees. It's not about drawing each individual leaf and branch, but the shape of the overall tree. So try and capture the shape of the tree through your drawings and mark makings. Move your ink around the page and don't worry if it doesn't look precise or exact.
different types of trees will need different marks and different twigs and work in different pressure, different movement. Just play it and see what happens. Working quickly works really well. As we looked at the work of Veronica Lawler and Ralph Steadman before, the best thing to do is work quickly and play around with it and see what happens. Don't try to be neat. The more ink you put on your twigs, the heavier the mark will be, and the more darkness that you'll put into your tree. The less ink you put, the finer your lines will be, and the lighter your light will look on your drawing. You can draw trees on their own individually or you can draw a whole forest. There isn't a right or wrong with this, so just have a go. Splatter the ink, move it about, splurge it, make your drawing look alive because these trees are alive. As an extra drawing, if you have any tracing paper or any paper that is slightly see-through, you can draw multiple trees on your tracing paper. This is going to make a forest effect. Draw trees of lots of different sizes in different positions on the layers of tracing paper. The more you do, the more depth you're going to have. Once the ink is dry, you can layer up the tracing paper to create a misty forest effect. See what happens, try it out. Thank you very much for taking part in this workshop. I hope you had fun and I hope you've created some brilliant illustrations, drawings and ink splatters. Bye!